Kenny Galladay, zero catches, Man. two drops. I didn't text y'all. Damn. I mean. I didn't text y'all. No, no you didn't text her. Late. No, when he, it was late. You know what? It was late when he dropped it. Sterling, <laughs> Sterling Shepard gets hurt. Our, our defense, zero takeaways, zero sacks. We got Cooper Rush out here looking like he is the next coming. I mean, the, the pass to CeeDee Lamb to close out the game, it's just – it's just a CeeDee Lamb that's, made up for the drop, though. It's, uh, well, he got a case of the drop sheets, but when Galladay dropped the one ball on third down, I was like – he walked back to the huddle. I, was, I said to myself, <laughs> hey, you want to know why you're not playing? Like, come on, man, seriously. This is an opportunity for you to really play and whatever. They threw you the ball, you dropped it. And Dan- they didn't throw you a hard ball. They threw you a softball. Daniel Jones played all right. He made some He made some good plays. He didn't play like I the sixth like, overall pick in the draft. Jay, man. That's a professional wide receiver. He, here's Not the, really. The Giants, well, he gets yeah, paid a lot. He gets that's paid sure. like a professional yeah. wide receiver. The Giants offense is one-dimensional, man. It's yeah, Saquon here comes Barkley. Saquon Barkley with the run. Or Jones or here, tucks or it. Or yeah. Daniel Jones tucks it and gets out of the pocket and runs for 10 yards. Well, because they don't have any players. Uh, obviously. So, we have no horses. Yeah, they. they this is an evaluation year. And every little win that they get is a plus. That's all. Well, they, that that's right, especially, you know what the real story of the game on the low is? Evan Neal had his, the Eagles years ago had a left tackle named Winston Justice. They took him either at the end of the first or the beginning yeah, of the USC, second round. Yeah, USC kid. And Winston Justice, as a rookie, was matched up against O.C. Uminiora on the outside. Yeah. And, and, destroyed. and was a turnstile, so of course the Giants won the game. I think Uminiora had like six sacks that day. That's what happened last night, really. You want to break it down? Evan Neal could not. He was a turnstile because he's a rookie, and they got good pass well, rushers. Max, that's happened against all the teams that the, the Cowboys has played against. They're number one in sacks, number yeah. one in pressures. Like, that's what they do. It's bad they had six sacks matchup. on Joe Burrow. Yep. I mean, it's the same thing. Yeah, but especially when you have a right tackle who barely has played in the oh, pros. Oh, I agree. He got, yeah, Demarcus Lawrence ate his lunch. Come on. Ate his lunch. Ate his lunch, man. Yeah. That's really what it was about. That's That really decided the game when you get down to it. But people that are Giant fans and, and watching the game, they should just understand that, okay, you got a decision to make on the running back. There's no other decisions to make on anybody else. It's an easy decision. The running back's a hard decision because he's playing well. And you're getting an opportunity to see when he's healthy how he plays. He had about 90 yards rushing, a couple, you know, nice catches out of the backfield. Got a, you got a piece that you got to make a decision on. You don't have to make a decision on the quarterback. But and he, you know none of the receivers. You don't have right. to make That's not a real decision. decision. No, yeah. that's not a decision. You, you know why Giants fans are somewhat angry or pissed off this morning, right? It's because Dave Gettleman once again reared his ugly head last night. Like you, you felt it. Well, Even though Gettleman's I know we're moving forward gone. and Ryan Dable, they handle things differently with Joe Shane. I hear it, but when you see remnants of what Gettleman put 100%. together, and it comes back to that O line and the lack thereof, Kenny Galladay was like that that sign. Oh, Supposed he's going to gonna be the, the difference top. maker, right? You, you see those last effects, and you're like, we just want to usher that era out. The most hilarious thing about out. it, when you think about the Galladay signing, is. Gettleman had several years to put a team together, and then he's like, okay, here comes my, what- my finishing touch. Galladay is going to put us over the top. Come on, man. Come on. But listen. What- I don't know what it was or what it is about him, but he wasn't a bad signing from Detroit. When he got here, it, I don't know what it is. He $72 million. He's a third-round well, pick who couldn't stay on the a, field. But that was the market. That was what it was. he was going to get. But you somebody. only get a guy like that if you think we're like a little I piece just don't away. Know what it, I don't know what it is when he put on the giant blue helmet. It just turned into something different. <laughs> Pumpkin. Well, listen, the meantime from the Cowboys, but this is the, Je- the Giants' point of view. Looks like Joe Jay Judge. and I are Giants fans. Um, Daniel Jones played here. fine. Like, I thought he played kind of well, actually, in a way, but – the bottom line is he was a six overall pick in the draft. He's not the future. The Giants are going to move on from him this year because he's not ever going to be a great player. He might be an okay player. He's a very, very good backup in the league, it looks like to me. If you have Daniel Jones as your backup, he's a, he's not, you're yeah, set. He's, yeah, he, he's probably going to get another shot to be a starter by somebody because somebody's going to fix him. And he'll be one of the better backups in the and NFL. And he'll wind yeah. up being a backup. Yeah. Who's he throwing the ball to? David right. Sills? I mean, I got to tell you, last night I, I was heartbroken watching Sterling Shepard go down. I mean, coming off that Achilles injury he had the year before, working through physical therapy to get back. Good route runner. Non-contact, just holds the I knee. I understand, I don't understand this, that one. This, it, it just like, I'm like, oh, God, there goes our season. He's the most consistent one oh. that we have. I, I, He's I, the most, I don't understand what happened. It's like when your number gets punched, man, it's it. 
You know, it's one of those things. And it looked like a, definitely an ACL, huh? Yep. Uh, I mean, didn't it? you could almost hear it. You could almost see it snap. Uh, it looks yeah. like an ACL. I just. Well, from the Gi- that's the, from the Giants' point of view. From the Cowboys' point of view, Cooper Rush is now 3-0 and as a starter, won his first three career starts, went on the road to beat a divisional rival who was 2-0. and Made himself some money. Probably made himself some money. And, and, the, and if you're a Cowboys fan, and many people are, including in Jersey, one of the reasons that you bring up, like, Gettleman, like, it's so, a team like the Giants, where you have so many Cowboys fans in Jersey, cannot afford to stink for 10 years. Because you need to constantly be creating new young fans and getting people excited. But, but otherwise, when the Cowboys come to town, they're going to take over Giants Stadium. Because the Cowboys don't stay irrelevant for year, you know, years on end. You got to love their pass rush. You guys brought it up, right? They got a couple of, remember a couple of years ago when Jerry Jones said, I need a war daddy? He was talking about a big pass rusher. They got two elite pass rushers off the edge. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, and, that, and that's one of the reasons that I believe in terms of Randy Gregory, they made the decision that they made because they knew having Demarcus Lawrence and Michael Parsons that they would be okay at that position for a couple of years to come. You know, I don't want to say for a long time to come. Because you just never know. But for a sure. couple of years, you know, you got some foundational pieces with Dan Quinn's defense, something that he had uh, in Atlanta early on, and something he certainly had in Seattle. You mentioned Key that C.D. Lamb has the dropsies, and he dropped a, a, a like you know you can't like you put a it you off. drop it in a guy's hands. Come hand on. Off. But if you're a Cowboys fan this morning, you're happy with C.D. Lamb because with the money on the yeah, line, he, he made a great the, catch in the yeah, end he zone. Caught, he, he caught, caught the catch. Two hands so you make it to the Pro Bowl, son. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.